Ask any box. They can tell you exactly where they were at that exact site. Cycle, we learned that Megatron had been defeated. Again. Cycle, we learned the all spark had been returned. All thanks to a lowly maintenance box, Optimus Prime. Just an elevated to Cybertron's greatest hero overnight. Our esteemed and self proclaimed sentinel Magnus made up for his moment stock by making a big show of locking up Megatron and the gang inside Trypticon, their former stronghold. Smack dab in the middle of what was once the Decepticon capital city of Chaos. <laughs> Sentinel was never one for subtlety. And I'm sure he just couldn't resist rubbing it in those cons faceplates. There was a new feeling of hope and optimism on Cybertron, maybe even the dawning of a second golden age. But for me, just another day at the office. Hey, Sideswipe! Patrol 6 thinks they found your walk down on Avalon Boulevard. Come on in! My name's Sideswipe, Senior Investigator, Cybertron Defense Command. In other words, I'm a copper box. Oh, I know what you're thinking. All the bots are the good gun. We don't need cops. Try telling that to a cybernetic speed freak in a dark eye con alley in the middle of the night, all hopped up on cheap oil and illegal modifications down to the last unit of Energon desperate for fuel and gunning for a fight. If I sound cynical, it's because I am. 30,000 stellar cycles on a force will do that too. All that was about to come to an end. Just close this one last case, and then settle down to a nice, quiet life on the Amazon farm. Assuming my new partner didn't get me slammed first. Like, woo-hoo! Yeah, that's him. Just my luck. I get saddled with some gung ho wet behind the audio receptor's transfer from Transtectivish. Calls himself Cheap Tool. Nothing worse for a short timer like me than a hotshot, thrill seeking punk box. I should know, much as I hate to admit it, it used to be just like <laughs> All right, gotcha! Say this to the kid, he knows how to take down a perfect pass. Keep your filthy sandals off me, flat me, let me my brakes. The only right you have, dirtbot, is the right to mute your voice synthesizer. Hey, kid, let's get one thing straight here. You want to play good bot, bad bot, I'm the bad bot. Got it? Yeah, sure. Have it your way. Okay, Scuds Bucket, my partner has some questions for you. <laughs> this is all a big misunderstanding, officer. I'm a legitimate business bot, and the name is Rattletrap. Thank you very much. Oh, really? Want to tell me what a legitimate business bot was doing with this? Ah, I see you have a fine optic for rat collectibles. You now hold in your servos Optimus Prime's authentic Energon Axe, the very blade that took down Megatron himself. It's a steal of 50 million credits, but I can let you have it for 45. Is that so? Well, I don't suppose you'll mind if we check out your public story with Optimus Prime. Oh, no, not at all. I'll just have it. Uh, nah, uh, you are coming with us. There's been a sudden rash of modification and weaponry thefts in the last decade cycle. Rattletrap here was just the kind of low-life scumbot who tried to fence stolen goods. We were hoping to get a lead on who was behind it all, but first we had to pay a little visit to the Metroplex of Cybertron's current number one son, even if he was playing second fiddle to Sentry. Oh, uh, jumping gyros! I can't believe I'm talking to the Optimus Prime that is so ultra gear. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to spring a leaf, kid. Sorry to bother you, uh, Optimus, but we thought you might like to know we caught the glitch mouse who took your energy axe. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the effort, officers, but I have my axe right here. Uh, <laughs> did I say authentic? I meant uh, uh, authentic reproduction. Tell you what, if I'm going to knock 10% off the price and we call it square. How about you tell me where you got this axe or I knock 10% off your faceplate? Easy, not the faceplate, not the faceplate! I'll tell you everything! It's a stage prop I sort of borrowed from Motormaster Stunt Convoy. In fact, I can get good scalpel tickets for the show if, you, if any bot needs them. Prices you can't beat. The only ticket you're getting is a one-way ticket to the Cyber Stockade. Come on, kid, let's get Cheesy Rider out of here before he spins up the place. Wait, 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 not so fast! Maybe we can strike a deal. I got inside information.
done some real stolen modifications. I've seen them down the stage of the stunt convoy body shop. Come on, can't we work together here? Uh, like me work with you? Ha! In another lifetime, maybe. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Thank you for alerting me to this uh, issue. Optimus! There you are! Look, uh, buddy, you got a lot to plan. Like a couple of appearances with you and me, big heroes together for the masses. Can't have you wandering off on your own. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, I was, uh, Jeff. Uh, <coughs> what? Oh, nothing, nothing. I, I was just admiring your, uh, <coughs> actual stolen modifications, not just knockouts. And you believed it? Ha! Optimus, you got lucky with Megs. I'll give you that. But you gotta quit being so naive. Criminals will say anything to deflect attention from their schemes. <laughs> but seriously, you gotta watch your group later, Optimus. That's why I keep my weapons under perpetual trademark. Anybody wants a Sentinel Magnus battle lance? That I get a cut. <laughs> Now that's uh, a big problem, is it? Not yet. <laughs> per se, but it will be, I'm certain of it. Shut up, come on, we're late for the rehearsal. Well, why didn't you just say we're, we're late for what now? <laughs> After we dropped that fuck tooth free stain on the precinct, we headed out to check out this stunt convoy he told us about. They set up shop at Kaon Town at the site of what used to be the Decepticon Gladiatorial Arena. Pure rattle trap that probably pulling a lot of hot exhaust. It was the only lead we had. Wow! That's a lot of hot exhaust. I mean, that's big. <laughs> the Decepticons sure loved their gladiator games, didn't they? Nothing out of the ordinary here it looks like your average stunt show setup. Yeah, except for one thing Decepticons! Kid, wait! Eat kinetic saw blades, deceptive creeps! <laughs> True is the malfunction that dares to interrupt my rehearsal. Yeah, what in the... Those Decepticons were nothing more than Autobot actors, and not very good ones from what I can see. The Motormaster here, your rehearsal. The Motormaster can read his name even on the top of our team. Can you walk writer? I play. Shit, Roy. You can barely talk, Mama Mesa. <laughs> who cares how who cares if you breed drag strip? Can you see that trigger happy Lawbot must have unloaded a hundred rounds of plasma? How come I'm the only one who gets hit? What does it matter? Breakdown. We all have to go offline with some sort or something. <laughs> so we are assembled into the scrap team. Actors in an absurd pantomime waiting for the grim grease like they to snatch away what joy we have. But until that solar cycle arrives, dead end, you all have to follow my direction. Now let's take it from the top and put some energy on into it this time. The idea is to entertain the audience, not put them into stasis. Okay, maybe I'm stretching the definition of actor. Signs, check the stands. Hey, whoa, 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 that's Optimus and Sentinel Magnus. And Sentinel Magnus is half. <laughs> they clearly got fans in high places, so dial it down and wait for the right moment to question the suspects. Like, when's that? When I say so. Get in, shut up and get in that cannon. Ultramaster, break down, back to starting position. Drag stripping with these tribes look defenseless. 
And will you two autocop clowns get the smelt out of the way? Come on, kid. At least we'll get a free show out of this. And action! Whoa, 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 look what we have here. A lowly defenseless automat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> now we shall terror terrorize you, for we are evil. Oh, who will save me from these evil Decepticon fiends? I must leave. No, none. I said run! Get in! Fire! Oh, Gerald! Another Decepticon has flown through the air directly into my head. My escape has been blocked. The others are sure to box me in now. Gerald, there's nowhere to run from the motor master puny out of mine. Um, nowhere to hide. Bleed nothingness beckons. <laughs> Decepticons are chasing her, and then this Not day... that, you dipstick. I oh. mean, why would Sentinel Magnus let these clowns do their act in the shadow of Crypticon prison? Sorry, but never mind that. Who's the new guy who just drove in? It looks like Optimus? Optimus is up there in the box seats with Sentinel. Me say you, Miss Fembot lady. <laughs> Me have talked to Trump. Big hero Autobot guy. Uh, you don't worry, Miss Autobot lady. We can swing you to safety with Toxitron's grapple thingy. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, we have meant to wrap self all up with Toxitron's grapple thingy. In a brilliant move! <laughs> Remind you of anyone, Optimus? I see. Very, uh, amusing. Wait, wait! Here comes my favorite part. The motor measure says transform and retreat! The gigabyte is a rubbery spark! And suddenly the whole thing makes perfect sense. Wow, that's like the second biggest holographic head I've ever seen. Is that Sentinel? <laughs> you mean you didn't recognize the chin or the hat? <laughs> that is right. You have run from Toxitron, the Sepulchre coward guys. Oh, thank you, my big Autobot hero guy. Oh, give me a break. Curses! Motor Motor Master foiled by the Red Sentinel Magnus! We will be dashed upon the rocks of oblivion. <laughs> we were doomed before we even began. Well, back to the room and tomb, Ted. There's going to be protoforms in the audience. As we get, why don't you both stick to the script? Well, Sentinel, that certainly uh, is big. Not Big enough. I want to make sure Megatron's cell has a clear view of that image. We must run for it! Sentinel Magnus is unstoppable! And no, you have come back, or you have faced rather Toxitron energy axe thingy. Ah! <sighs> Toxitron? What is that? Oh, that, uh, it have Toxitron energy axe thingy. No, that is a waste receptacle plunger. <laughs> Where is your actual axe? You mean this axe? Hey, where'd you get that? We ask questions, Dirtbot. Word on the street is you're hiding a stash of hot mods in your body shop. First officer, kind of it out of my face. Second, even I couldn't make up a story that stupid. And you won't mind if me and my partner take a backstage tour, will you? Oh, be my guest. Yeah, we found a stash, all right, a stash on the stadium. That's for their opening night grand finale. Smoke bombs, noise papers, and the sound of fury, nothing significant. Turned us with an express ticket outside, courtesy of the ever-understanding Sentinel Magnus. Turns out we weren't the only ones looking for something here. It's no big Minerva. Just don't get your hopes up. But you said you knew someone in Optimus's crew. No, I said I arrested one of them once. That doesn't matter. I know Sentinel. He says he's tight with Optimus since Optimus helped him take down Megatron. That's not how I heard it. 
I think we're trying to argue with the Magnus, especially this one. Look, he knows Optimus, so we'll get him to introduce you to Optimus if you can meet this socket wrench guy you're always on about. Ratchet! Ratchet! He's only the greatest field medic ever! And I'm gonna be his apprentice, or intern, I haven't decided which. <laughs> Ain't he gonna be surprised? Something wrong, Sentinel Magnus? Or Pat, you old steam engine, how's it going? Just tossing out a couple of trumped up bots in positions far greater than their competence should allow. Look, I'd love to chat, but I'm kind of busy now. And... Well, this won't take a minute, boss. This is my friend Minerva. She's got somebody she wants to meet and uh, was wondering. If I could give her an autograph, why sure. It's always good to see the younger generation taking an interest in their role models. Actually, I... Uh... There you go, young lady. Stay in school, keep your optics on the stars, and uh, do everything I do. One day, you might make Magnus. Maybe a prime. Definitely a major. But, but... Speechless with gratitude. Uh, it touches me right in the spark chamber. See you around, Warpath. Manova. Oh, uh, Minerva, you okay? Of all the arrogant, self-absorbed scraps spewing... Wait, look at that, is that Optimus? Looks like he's off in a hurry, wherever he's going. Come on, let's catch up with him. You want us to go chasing after a decorated Autobot hero and ambush him out of nowhere to ask his medical officer for a job? You're totally fragmented. Yes. And who are you? And what are you doing here? 
Yeah, elite guard business spots, kinda. Wait a minute, that's not Optimus. What's going on here? What's going on here, Metabot, is we've got a robbery suspect in custody and there's an injured tech who needs attention. What the? Why didn't she say so? Back up, give me room to work. She always like this? Usually. Excuse me? Yes, I... You! Ultimus Prime! Two one! What are you doing here, sir? Did you see a guy that looks a lot like me come this way? Yeah. That couple of CBDC flywheels just hauled him away. Optimus, this is so, so ultra gear! Yeah, I get that a lot, a lot more today than normal, though. You're not, you're not wretched! You actually know wretched! You have to introduce me! Huh? Uh, just a go with it, sir. Please. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, it's uh, no one position really. I'd be glad to. But first, uh, how are you doing, Iron Fist, old pal? You look better. Uh, uh, Optimus, <laughs> I'm, I'm the worst. Remember the time I was working on that Mango Graviton bomb? Took three techs and a couple buckets of axle grease to pull me out of there. An interesting experience, that. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been. So, uh, what's the prognosis? Well, that's good, because, well, I was hoping I could get a favor from you two. Back at the precinct, we hit another obstacle. In this case, a suspect. Uh, Sideswipe, can we, uh, I, I don't know, hose him down before the interrogation? Because whatever he's leaking is, like, eating through the floor? <laughs> Fine, kid. Now look, Toxitron, you might as well give up your buddy bots. We've already got you on trespassing, breaking and entering, Stolen goods. You're looking at 10,000 stellar cycles in the stockade minimum. Uh, no deal. Boxing try and take 20,000 stellar cycles. <laughs> you do realize you're supposed to plea bargain your sentence down, right? Oh, uh, hmm, okay. Uh, me, I'm take 30,000 and not one man over the <laughs> Hey, we are dealing with one seriously brag hard drive here. No, oh, we're getting nowhere. Excuse me, sir, but we have to let it go. What? The reports are in, and we can't make the charges stick. We have no choice but to release him. If you'll come with me, Dr. Tron, we can get you on our way. <laughs> Dr. Tron, don't be gonna adjust the life on outside. Bruce can change, Dr. Tron. <laughs> I don't believe this. As a reward for our efforts, we had to stay and fill out a mountain of data tracks work on the stolen mods. What felt like mega cycles, I poured over every report, numbers streaming across my monitor. Something bugged me about the whole thing. The pieces just wouldn't come together. Hey, you've been muttering to yourself in the last three case files. What is up? Something's not processing on the olfactory sensors here. Other than a few personal modifications, all that's gone missing is a bunch of excavation and demolition equipment. So, like, someone's planning a break in? No. More like a break out. It all makes sense now. The stolen mods, the stunt show right next to Trypticon Prison. The stunt convoy is planning to bust out Megatron. Wow, that's insane. Why would they do that? Same reason we can't find any records of them in the Autobot database. They aren't Autobots pretending to be Decepticons. They're Decepticons pretending to be Autobots. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Incoming transmission. Starting now. Team Stunticon, status update. General Strike Man, the Motor Masters, pleased to report the Motor Masters prison break mission is proceeding exactly as the Motor Master planned. You mean exactly as Wild Rider planned? Oh, not this argument again here. Yeah, I really want to listen to you two glory grab all day. Yeah, me too. We have to take notes. Oh, shut up, Toxitron. Can't we just lock him up or something when we all crack her safe? It's all meaningless anyway. <laughs>
Entropy will claim this world even if we do not. Ow! I dropped a drill on my foot! Hang up! To see General Spiker Man, I laid in a thermal charge to settle this arena to blow Trypticon prison open wider than Grandis's exhaust port. Pity the opening night audience won't survive our show's explosive grand finale. It will be awesome! <laughs> Are you certain the Otherwise High Command will be in attendance tonight? Uh, the Sentinel Man is practically made attendance for tonight, mandatory. Bam, government leaders and heads of the elite guard. He wants everyone to see how big his hat is. <laughs> Excellent. You have received the great honor, King Stuntcon. You shall both free our glorious leader and destroy the Autobots' greatest warriors in a single strike! Hail Megatron! Hail Megatron! We barely got to the amphitheater in time. The show was starting to stand before. Most of Cybertron's military and civilian leadership was there. If they didn't manage to bust Megatron out, losing that many bots would have left our planet easy pickings for the Decepticons. The Motor Master wants to know, are you bots ready to rumble? Yeah! Having friends in high places helps. Sentinel because he was so very busy. You two took Toxicon away. 
well, I'm sorry, but it was me who pushed through for his release, kind of. He's actually still locked up in the brig. I had Iron Fist fix me up with an electric paint job, and Minerva's medikit here helped simulate Toxicron's leaking fluids. So I took his place and waited for the right time to move in. I was in the middle of disarming the bombs when you two busted in. I knew I had to move fast to save you. Wow, that was some amazing exposition and story summer. <laughs> About a little more exposition. Sure, bring it on. <laughs> well, being a body defeated may try to return the Allspark occasionally has its privileges. The Motormaster says this isn't over. Uh, Sides, right? Let him go. Nobody move. The Motormaster will slag this defense bot and blow up this entire arena unless the Decepticon political prisoners in Trifticon are released immediately. All pair Megatron. Yeah, you're made. Oh, you're yeah, really in what might that be? You put your rocket axe within arm's reach. I did. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the detonator switch. I'll take that. <laughs> hey, Sideswipe, are you okay? I hurt everywhere. But I'll be fine. Wow, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just blow a circuit? You nearly got us all swag! Listen up, kid. No bot. Autobot or Decepticon is getting between me and my retirement. <laughs> and you thought that was extra to get a load of this. <laughs> <laughs> the Stoticons will lock up in Trypticon prison right alongside Megatron and the gang. Cheetah and I got commendations from Sentinel, Sentinel Magnus himself for our diligence in saving the planet. I gotta say, it was a real treat to see how forced that smile was on his face. That big hat was just a little bit heavier that day. Cheetor, the kid's got a promising future, even though he needs a few more hard lessons knocked into his head. Hey, I did, and I turned out all right. He'll make a fine senior investigator. In about 30,000 stellar cycles, I think. I go away. Almost, <laughs> almost done. There's been a big groundswell of support to put Optimus in the position of Magnus, even though Sentinel had no intention of stepping down. That ought to be real interesting to watch from a distance. And that's exactly what I was going to do. After all these stellar cycles, I could finally kick back and enjoy the peace of fire on the Energon farm. Nothing to do with days out of the occasional meteor shower. Wait, that's not a meteor shower. Lot. Skybite, mind right, oil slick. Time to show these Autobots what the new team Char is capable of. 